Hi guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at the Nissan Adaptive Cruise Control and the Steering Assist system that's available on a lot of modern new Nissan vehicles. This particular vehicle I'll be showing in the video is called Nissan X-Trail TIL, which is the top spec model in New Zealand market. If you're driving something different, you might find the switches or the screen a little bit different from here and there, but the function will be very, very similar. The first part of the video, I'll talk about how everything works in theory when the vehicle is not moving. With the second part of the video, I'll show you how everything works in extra traffic here in Auckland, New Zealand. If you do find this video helpful, please subscribe and like. That will be really helpful for the channel. If you are looking to purchase the Nissan in New Zealand, especially around Auckland, make sure you contact us at Abit Pukoi, we are the authorized dealer for Nissan, Volkswagen, MG and Kia. Let's turn the camera around and get it started. All right, right now I'm in a 2023 Nissan X-Trail TIL that's available for New Zealand. You'll find this control switch on the right for the cruise control speed. You can also adjust your digital dashboard or some come with a smaller, smaller digital dashboard to change whatever you like to see all the display. For example, in this one, we can go right to the system packages, which is in this system, and then we can go up and down to check all your information. In the middle, we'll have the cruise control setting or cruise control information. To engage the cruise control, you are going to use this button and these buttons and also this button over here. So I explain everything step by step. First button is to engage and cancel the cruise control. You can consider this as on and off button. In this instance, right now the cruise control is not switched on. I'm going to press this button. You will notice a bar over here, gray information on the right and a pop-up notification about your other safety features, then you will also have the cruise control information over here. Right now, the cruise control is not just switched on just yet, because it's showing the white color, bars, everything. Once you, once you drive up to a set speed or certain speed, whatever you wish to set, you can use this switch to keep it down. So one down push means you can set it at a particular speed, whatever you like. That means you are gonna set the vehicle Depends on your driving speed. If your driving speed is higher than 30 kilometers, it's gonna set at your particular driving speed. If your driving speed is less than 30 kilometers, that means pushing down allow you to set at 30. The lowest set speed is always going to be 30. You cannot set anything lower than 30, so to speak. Once you complete the set function, you'll find this switch on the right showing Green light means 30 k's power or 100 k's, whatever. In this particular screen, it will also show in the in the dashboard. But if you do change to other screens, you will need to rely on, on the camera on the system on the right. But if you have a different dashboard, different screen, it may show in a different part. Anyway, and once you set the cruise control, you can change your cruise control speed using this switch, going up or down. So go up. By single click, it's going up by one. So let's say you set at 50, going up once, 51, 52, 53, so to speak. Or we're going down 49, 48, and 47, so to speak. Alternatively, if you wish to have a slightly better or higher increase or fast increase, you can push and hold. Push and hold allows you to go over by tens. Let's say you were at 50, it's gonna jump to 60, 70, 80, and 90. Push down and hold, it's gonna go 40 and 30. Then obviously that will stop because the lowest K you can set is going to be 30 kilometers per hour. And while you're on cruise control, you can also alter the distance between you and the front vehicle. Let's say your set speed for this vehicle is going to be 50 Ks, and then the vehicle will drive on 50 K if there's nothing display or nothing in front of you. Let's say it's on road clear, clear road, on motorway or anything like that, it's going to drive on straight road at your whatever the set speed is. If in front of the vehicle it's going to show a vehicle sign, that means it's going to identify another vehicle and the other vehicle is driving slower than your set speed. Assume the other vehicle is driving 30, for example, your car will automatically slow down to keep a safe distance between you, which is your vehicle, and another vehicle in front of you. To do that, you can also change the distance. Right now, you can see the distance over here is actually one bar, and you can see it here, one bar is lit up. Where all the other bars are gray colors, you can press this button, go forward or backwards, you can see 
the bars to change three to two to one. Three obviously means longer distance, one obviously means shorter distance. This particular distance is not actually just meters distance between you and front vehicle, it's more of a driving speed distance. If your driving speed is low, even if at three bar, it's gonna be lower distance. If your driving speed is high, it's and your one bar will still keep you a very long distance. This is based on your driving speed, so to speak. Whenever you like, you can just press to whichever you like in terms of these features. While you're on cruise control, you can also cancel the cruise control. One way to cancel is to push down to cancel, just like this button. Then your cruise control will go back to this gray color. That means the cruise control is paused. To resume, just go up to resume. Very simple. Another way is to apply the brake. While the cruise control is on, it will show the green light. Then as long as you tap the brake, as long as there are enough motion to, to get the car slowed down, then your cruise control will be canceled or paused. That means it's ready to engage again. To resume, either go up to resume back to whatever the set speed you set, let's assume 50, or to go down to set at whatever the speed you were driving at the time. Again, lowest being 30, higher being whatever the speed you were driving. So that's how to resume or cancel the cruise control. The last way to cancel your cruise control is to press this button. If you're on cruise control, at any time you press this button, the cruise control is completely shut. That means you need to take back the control of the pedal or brake once you control that. Otherwise, bring back in and do set again. Whenever you bring back in, uh, if there's no reading on the top here, that means you always have to do set. You cannot do resume because it's not gonna there's no memory in terms of the speed set, so to speak. While you're on cruise control, you also come into a situation where the vehicle do stop start for you. That means even if your set speed is going to be 50 km per hour, the vehicle in front of you is traveling less than your set speed, and eventually, because of the traffic, the vehicle will come to a complete stop. That means your vehicle will follow the third vehicle and come to a complete stop as well. Once your vehicle comes to a complete stop, it's gonna re-engage or automatically, or you have to re-engage manually. There are two scenarios. First scenario is the vehicle in front of you slow down and come to a stop, and it's only gonna stay for three seconds or less than three seconds. That means when it's moving again, your car will automatically move for you. You don't need to do anything. Your car will automatically resume back to whatever the cruise control is to go back into traffic. Second scenario, if the vehicle in front of you come to a complete stop and stayed longer than three seconds, your vehicle will not automatically go back to cruise control where it was set. All you need to do, there are quite a few ways to change that. First way is to simply click the resume button. You'll resume back to whatever you set on cruise control, then your vehicle will start moving. Second way is to tap the accelerator. So just a single tap accelerator to get the vehicle moving as, is the as soon as the vehicle rolling into a motion, it will resume back to cruise control. You do not need to keep tapping anymore. You can release the pedal after that. The last way is to actually use the set button. So let's say you come to zero, your car, the front vehicle comes to zero as well, and then it moves after three seconds. You can just push down to set. It's gonna set back to 30 because that's the lowest set speed. Then the vehicle will resume back to cruise control. So that's the three ways to resume the cruise control information when you come to a complete stop. And last function we will talk about is your steering assist. Your steering assist has two ways to engage. One way is to press this button to engage or disengage. Just like that, steering assist is off, steering assist is on. Even if your steering assist is on, it's not going to assist you unless you drive the vehicle on adapt adaptive cruise control. So that means if you don't drive the vehicle on adaptive cruise control, this function will never work anyway. And alternatively, you can also go into this setting. So let's click OK. And then you can find the steering assist. So on or off, whichever you like, by clicking the OK button. There are also other ways if you go into deep in the settings to change that. But easy way is to go into the assistance systems to engage this or disengage this. You can engage or disengage this whenever you like using the physical button. That's probably the easiest way. Otherwise, use the screen to set it up. How that works is when you set the vehicle on cruise control, when the vehicle starts cruise control, and then as long as your landmarking in front of the vehicle is correct or is clear, the vehicle can see the landmarking on the left, on the right, 
then it will, you show a sort of steering assist function on the right or steering assist function on this particular screen or in any other directions if you are in driving a different screen that means the vehicle will steer a little bit for you to keep you in the right center instead of bouncing you all over the marking so it helps your steering just at low or high speed it's not going to be like an automatically steering assist or anything like that instead it's going to give you a very gentle steering assist to let you to, to try to keep it in the center obviously do not take your hands off the steering at all when you're driving on cruise control or in any other situations even if the steering assist is engaged if you take your hands off the steering for quite long the vehicle will give you warning and give you quite loud alert if necessary to try to to keep you concentrated that's how to use the steering assist on the Nissan vehicles so that's pretty much all done for the theory part next part i'll put the camera on so you can see how the vehicle drives in daily traffic in stop start functions all right now we're on motorway um, as you can see on the dashboard nothing has been set just yet what i will do is click this blue icon to get the cruise control ready so now it's going to show you the front blind spot and land warning everything's on right now and it's ready to go you can see at the below it says press to activate now we want to go down once we get on speed let's say we're at 7k's right now i'm leaving my pedal and the lowest k we have set right now is 30 kilometers per hour you can also see the land keep assistance or the steering assistance has been switched on that means if i'm going to drift out of your land or if i'm not in the center of the land marking it will sort of assist for me um, you can see on the top left you can see on the right and the vehicle did come to a complete stop because the earnings stop stopped for less than three seconds our vehicle resumed back again alternatively while you are driving you can also go up as you can see the speedo has increased to 33 or 35 so to speak or you can push and hold push and hold you can see it's going to 10 by 10 now so now it's reached 60 and again stop whenever you like same as going down go all the way down 50 30 40 all that things then just keep going click that goes all the way up again so that's to how to change your speed while you're on cruise control when you when you push down to set it's always going to set at your current speed or the lowest speed at 30 if your case is less than 30 you can feel the steering is trying to give you some adjustments i'm not touching it as you can see but please don't do it while you're driving all sorts of thing if you take your hands off the steering for quite long or if you're not giving enough pressure on your steering it's only it's also going to give you a very very heavy alert uh, it's going to give you a warning and give you all the short shocks and all that things yeah so just juggle on and while we're on cruise control you can also press this button to change the distance and this right now the distance in between these two cars are two bars you can also see on the right as well so click that one bar that means it's a shorter distance or three bar that means longer distance you can press it whenever you like you can change whenever you like and it will memorize your setting when you get out the vehicle and start again so that's actually quite cool so yeah just go with that and to go along with the distance between you and front vehicle at any speed if you do want to cancel the cruise control two ways one way is to push down this cancel button like right now nothing is nothing is engaged so that means I will have to press the brake and start read again. I'll end. If you do want to resume, just go up on here. Resume. That means it went back to our cruise control speed, which was set at 37. Alternatively, you can also cancel it by pushing down the brake. So I'm going to press the brake now. You can see that's disengaged. If you want to activate again, again, that two ways. One way is to go up to resume. One way is to go down to activate. To set, that means it's going to set out at your current speed or the lowest 30 or go resume. It's going to go resume back to whatever your cruise control is. So go up, let's resume back to 37. And at any time, if you cancel the cruise control or if you wish to just completely turn off the cruise control, just simply press this button. 
the cruise control is gone that means go up or down resume set it's not going to do anything as the vehicle will not drive on your set speed uh, or because your cruise control is not switched on at all otherwise press again it's going to give you a very sort of quick notification about your information all that stuff and then go down to set whenever you initialize you always have to go down to set you cannot resume because the cruise control was completely turned off now let's go to 50 just get up on the speed and if your vehicle is equipped with the heads up display as long as you select the heads up display contents on your front dashboard on your settings with the adaptive cruise control or with the driving assistance you will also see that on your heads up display if you do not have the heads up display you can rely on this camera or rely on this screen if you're driving on other screens let's say you have different screens configuration uh, you are driving on let's say apple carplay information you're driving on trip odometer information you will have that permanent display on the right hand side of your vehicle so to speak of course you can change different display over here if you wish to but again that thing will always be permanent display that's one thing i really like about it so you always know what's going on with your cruise control information at any conditions you can also go click ok while you're in the cruise control settings screen that means go ok you can quickly turn the steering assist on and off that means it's not going to balance you over the land or anything like that um, or this particular vehicle does have a direct button on the right hand side the steering control i can press that steering is off so that means it's only going to do the balance between the speed and all that things for me instead it's not going to do the steering assist for me personally i quite enjoy it i don't think it's fighting against me all the time so i do like it but it's your choice whether you like it or not you can also go up on the screen to quickly check your blind spot forward collision and land departure warning stuff like that and again click ok to go into that if you wish to set or change that whenever you like and go all the way down you can see the traffic sign recognition if your vehicle is equipped with that otherwise we can stay on the cruise speed i might have to am i might going to let my hands go of the steering for short a period of time just so i can show you how it works in slow traffic again this will work on higher speed as well as long as the land assistance or the land markings are accurate And as always, I do not recommend you to do this while you're driving. And it will automatically restart just like that because the vehicle is only stopped for less than three seconds. So again, I'm not touching anything on this car at all apart from sitting on the sitting position, but I'm ready to take, take control if anything happens. Again, there, there we go. That's the warning finally kicking. So the warning is quite long compared to the higher speed warning, so to speak. Um, if you're on higher speed, the warning will kick in a lot faster than what we have. That's what it works. Now we might come into a situation where some cars will get in the lane, will get in front of you so personally my recommendation is you want to manually brake to let it give away to give enough space although if your spacing is really good the vehicle will, will ultimately slow down anyway eventually but it, sometimes it can be quite close so i have manually stopped to do that because this vehicle will not be able to tell there's a vehicle coming to you or anything like that it's yourself to judge the situation and once i press the brake obviously that's cancelled i'm gonna go up again to resume that's back to the cruise control and every single time when you go back to cruise control sometimes the the steering assist will show the gray light that means the steering assist is not there just yet and then if it's there if the land lands are good again or land condition or land markings or the vehicle in front of you is in good um, sort of driving form again the green light will come back on again and this vehicle will give you a notification just like that the land departure is gone 
then departure came back in again. There we go, now the vehicle in front of us has stopped for longer than 3 seconds. You can see the vehicle pop up notification, press to restart. So if right now I'm going to go up on the resume, it will resume back to cruise control when the vehicle goes again, of course. So it's not going to be automatic restart, by the way. Instead, you will need to manually restart. Go up, just like that. So the vehicle resume back to cruise control. Alternatively, while it's on restart, we're ready to restart, you can also go down to set. That means it's not going to resume back to whatever your cruise control set was. It's instead, you're going to set at 30, so that's the lowest set speed. And the last way to restart is actually press your pedal. So you can lightly touch your accelerator pedal to let the vehicle resume back to a motion. So now it's, go it's gone, that means it's going to resume back to 50. Just like that. Alright, since we're driving on slightly higher speed finally, let's quickly test the distance we are using. So right now it's one bar distance. You can see we are comfortably sort of at least around two seconds distance with the front vehicle driving at 60, 62 ish. So, yeah, very comfortable distance. Obviously, for some people, this might be close. That means we can always change to number two. You can see our vehicle slowed down just by time of it. You can see a more distance. Obviously, the vehicle did speed up as well. Now, you can see the distance more of a 2.5 seconds to 3 seconds distance. Again, it will alter the distance for you automatically. Right now, we're driving 78 kilometers. Last thing, let's go back to three distance. You can see the distance gap increased a little bit again. Our speed didn't go up as the speed of the vehicle goes up. This is more of a four seconds difference. That means if it's in rainy condition, or um, let's say foggy condition like this today, or wet condition on the road, you may want to increase your distance. All right, we're going to come to a stop again. So you can see the three distance is quite different. The stop is quite um, sort of early compared to the one or two so that's also another thing if you're not someone who likes to tailgate against someone all the time you may want to change that distance at three distance it's going to be much earlier for the brake intervention so to speak but don't worry the vehicle will come down to a complete stop i mean in most situations let's put that way i'll go back to two Alright, I think that's all the testing and real-world driving about the adaptive cruise control and even land assistance available on the Nissan X-Rail or some other Nissan vehicles, Crash Guy and other things. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is helpful enough for you to use this feature or encourage you to use this feature at least if you have never known this before. As always, please subscribe and like to support this channel and if you're looking to purchase any Nissan MG, Volkswagen or Kia in New Auckland, New Zealand, please feel free to contact me. You can find all my details down below. 
thanks for stopping by i will see you next video